Since way back in my darkroom and colour slide days, I've always had an interest in image presentation, including edge effects with traditional slide tape audio visual. It's so much easier now with PTE AV Studio. Let's take a look. As you can see, I have a few random images selected here in the slide list and one or two edge effects which I'll provide. Now here's a montage of mine from a while back. Let's give it an edge effect. I'm going to select the slide, go to my objects and animation screen. In the objects and animation screen, what I want to do is to apply a mask. Now we can do that from the mask option at the extreme top left of the screen. But I prefer to go to the image in question, right click, choose add, and I'll add my mask from here. Now the mask I want to choose is this one. If you wanted a traditional oval, soft edged or hard edged, you can go to this option and create that quite easily. But here I want to select one of my own, so I'll click that. I just need to go to my content folder here. And I'll pick one of these at random, it doesn't really matter which one. I'll double click and there we can see it applied. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the edge effect I've applied doesn't seem to fit the image that well. It was probably created at 16.10 aspect ratio and not 16.9 that I'm using now. No problem though, if we go down to the edge effect we've applied in the mask stencil and select it, we can go to the zoom factor here and we can adjust just the width. If we break this chain link just by clicking, then put the cursor into the zoom X, I can use my down and up arrow to increase or decrease the size. And as you can see, I can just nudge it to the full width of the image pretty quickly and easily. Now, the color we want within the edge effect, we can apply that using the mask content. So if we go down to the mask content here, we can do the same as we did with the image, right click, add, but this time we're going to add a rectangle. Now it looks a little bit odd at the moment because we need to go to the properties tab and make some adjustment to it because by default it comes up as a vertical gradient and what I want is a solid and I want to change the color. Either let's start with either a white which we can find in the top left corner but if we want a slightly off white not quite so bright we can obviously make that selection here and click OK and there we have our edge effect. Now coming back to the objects and animation screen we can change the color of the edge effect quite easily by just selecting the rectangle and going back here clicking so we've got all of the colors at our disposal we could make it black of course or we could choose a color from the image or something else if you want to do that click on the eyedropper tool here hold the click so to speak move on to the image and choose a color that you think is appropriate you can see it in the color picker on the right of the choose color panel so let's just assume I want a neutral brown here. I'll choose the church front and click OK. Now the beauty of this is if we don't get the color correct first time, we can change it as many times as we like. On this occasion, I think white tends to work better. Now coming back to the slide list, it does make some sense that once we've created a nice edge effect to save this as a slide style. Now I've just done that with the montage, so I can apply that style to any of these other images. So if I select this one, hold the shift and go to the last, styles and themes, styles, edge effects, there's the one that I've created, and we've instantly applied the same effect to all of the images in our slideshow. Now we can also animate the image within the edge effect we've applied, or in fact, I suppose, animate both of those where it's appropriate. 
We can also use the blur effects within PTE AV Studio to soften the mask edge. Now if you do want to animate the image but not the mask, you may have to make a slight change here because if I select the image and I zoom the image, I'm zooming the edge effect as well, which may not be appropriate. In that case, just close up the mask container, select it, right click and choose cut. Click back into the box so we're not making the mask container a child of the image. Right click and paste. Now when I go to my Ely image, I can zoom that within the edge effect. To change the edge effect, that's quite easy. If we go back into the mask container, select it, go to the properties and the picture option here. I can go back to my content folder and I could pick something else. I'll see you next time.